a very good evening to all you are watching namaskar physiology today we are going to discuss the topic study of the effect of strenuous ligature all or non law and staircase phenomenon on the frog's heart okay so this topic will be discussed under the following headings and the headings are first of all principle then your apparatus and uh, reagent okay then procedure then <clears throat> result then inference precautions ultimately some discussions okay first of all the principle so the principle of this experiment what is it let's discuss the transmission of cardiac impulse from the sinus to the auricle and from the auricle to the ventricle can be blocked by application of ligature in between the sinus and the auricle in the first case and between the auricle or atria and the ventricle in the other after the ventricle has stopped due to the blockage of the transmission of impulses it can be artificially stimulated and the phenomena of all or non law and staircase can be studied okay so this was the principle now apparatus and reagents we need the different apparatus and reagents such as a drum chymograph simple mercury key short circuiting key starling's heart lever and raymond dubois induction coil also shielded electrodes chromometer for time pressing wires dissecting set with uh, scalpel scissors and these things amphibian ringer solution threads pins dropper cotton and these things okay so right now let's go into the uh, procedure part okay okay right now for the procedure at first we will dissect the this is the this is the frog okay this is the frog so we will dissect out the frog and we will take out the heart of the frog okay that is the heart is still there okay now the frog's heart looks something like this okay this is the sinus venosus here there lies the white crescentic line this is the atria a frog has two atrias okay and this is the ventricle okay we at the tip of the apex we pierce it with a like a curved needle and then we hang it with a thread which is attached to sterling's heart lever okay so writing pen and this thing ultimately is attached to a drum chymograph the assembly is something like this okay now regarding this heart here in this experiment what we will do is that we will take two threads okay the first thread we will bring and we will just keep a loose knot okay we will bring the thread through the trunkus arteriosus and then ultimately we will reach the groove in between atria and the sinus venosus and we'll give a loose knot okay and then we will also bring another thread and then we will put the second thread okay in between the atria and the ventricle in a loose knot okay to make you more clear i have made a model so if you see this you can see this to be a frog's heart okay this is these two were threads or ligatures okay so in this ligature okay as you can see the first ligature okay one second <clears throat> okay 
okay okay okay fine. so this first ligature this is the ligature that is i have placed in between the sinus venosus okay in between the sinus venosus and the atrium at around the white crescentic line the second ligature is in between atrium and the ventricle okay okay now let's put it here okay let's go to a different page okay now now we will start the drum okay so this is the drum chymograph we will start moving the drum chymograph at a slow speed okay at around 2.5 millimeter per second like that kind of speed okay at around a small speed okay and then we will record the normal cardiogram okay the normal cardiogram of a frog which will be something like this okay okay i'll show it here will be looking something like this when it rotates <clears throat> something like it will go right something like it will rotate and it gives like this so this thing if i draw in the copy it will be something like this okay. now at this point we will stop the drum chymograph okay and then the second ligature that is the ligature in between the sinus venosus and the atrium that is this one okay we will tighten it okay take it and then we will tighten the this one now what happens as we have tightened this then we will okay the second ligature is still loose but the first knot we have tightened okay okay we have tightened now after tightening the first ligature okay that is we have given first stainless ligature here we'll see that we'll start again the drum chymograph we will see that for some time there will be no beating that for some time <coughs> for some time there will be no beating okay but then suddenly we will see that the frog's heart is beating okay but the rate is decreased okay so we will take around five to six contractions okay then we will again stop the drum okay now this time the second ligature that is in between the ventric that is the in between the atrium and the ventricle okay we will tighten it up and then we will restart the drum okay Here we have Put the second st stainless ligature. Okay, Here it was the first stainless ligature. Now we we'll put the second stainless ligature. What we have seen, what we will see is that after that, as we have started, and the ventricle take a longer time. Okay. I would like to say here that sometimes the ventricle does not beat and sometimes it beats. Usually it beats, okay. Now at this time, the rhythm is very less, okay. So we will get a curve like this. So if I draw this curve nicely, then something like this we will see, okay. also be a time tracing okay so 
so stainless ligature you will see something like this now what we will do is that now we will stop the drum again okay now we will stop the drum okay okay we will stop the drum the this ligature that is the second ligature between the ventricle and the atria we will lose it up okay we can remove this also but the first one will be still be tightened okay the first ligature we will remove the second one okay or even if it remains it can remain okay but the okay. this ligature that is between the atrium and the sinus venosus it will be there okay and it will still be there and we will tighten this luggage okay now what will we do is that here we can do it on a slowly moving drum or on a stationary drum okay the first one was for st stainless ligatures now this is for your all or non law okay no if the drum is moving okay at first we will start with the sub threshold stimulus and then we will wait for 30 seconds and we will give a threshold stimulus we will wait 30 seconds and then we will give supra threshold stimulus okay we will wait for 30 seconds then we will increase the supra threshold stimulus like that we will do okay so <clears throat> if the drum is moving around 2.5 millimeter per second like this kind of speed okay otherwise station now if it is a moving drum then we will see that when we for, for this thing i will tell you that we need shielded electrodes we will put the ventricle okay we'll put the shielded electrodes on the ventricle okay these are shielded electrodes now now suppose the drum is moving okay now we have applied an uh, a sub threshold stimulus on the electrode with the shielded electrode we'll see that there is no response let's say this to be one okay sub threshold is one okay sub threshold stimulus is one threshold is two supra threshold is three and modern supra threshold is four no response now we have hit it with a threshold stimulus Threshold stimulus will hit. Then we will see that it will give a response. Okay, it will give some response with the supra threshold stimulus. Okay. Now, after that, okay. Mm, let's do some let's forget this diagram let's rewind it again sub threshold stimulus no response supra threshold stimulus response is there then sub threshold stimulus no response threshold stimulus response so the gap is 30 seconds now supra threshold stimulus gives response but the curve is same more than supra threshold stimulus again will give curve will same okay i will write nicely here so we will see something like this okay and this is the time tracing so 
<coughs> this is the subtracial stimulus See, no response this is the threshold stimulus then supra threshold stimulus and then modern supra threshold stimulus ok so this was the curve that we will be getting for this all or non law ok now <coughs> after that we will discuss this curve but before that in the procedure there is a third thing that is the staircase phenomenon ok phenomenon ok before starting staircase phenomenon let me tell you one more thing about this that is for all or non law now this was for the moving drum now if the drum is stationary then that is not moving drum is not moving then how will we get that is first when we apply threshold stimulus that is sub threshold stimulus we will not get any response okay then when we give a threshold stimulus we will give something like this and again supra threshold stimulus like this modern supra threshold stimulus like this okay then we can join it okay? the prime pressure so it was the sub threshold stimulus no response then threshold stimulus this one no supra threshold stimulus this two one okay so when sub threshold stimulus no response threshold stimulus response in a single line supra threshold stimulus like this and sub threshold stimulus like this because in a non moving drum this goes like this we know that okay contraction that is the systole diastole okay so no threshold so if we apply from the beginning okay so we have so here sub threshold stimulus no response 30 seconds then we will move the dr drum by 1 centimeter then we will apply our threshold stimulus okay like this supra threshold like this okay. so first of all no response okay then after 30 seconds threshold stimulus is response 30 seconds wait then supra threshold stimulus then 30 seconds wait more than supra threshold like this okay then you can join it and there is the time tracer okay so or the time marker so sub threshold stimulus response threshold stimulus response and these are supra threshold stimulus so response is given now for the staircase phenomenon let's see very fast so for staircase phenomenon we have to apply the stimulus at an interval of 2 seconds okay at an interval of 2 seconds we have to apply the stimulus okay so <coughs> at first we will apply the stimulus and we will see that it appears like this then at after 2 seconds it appears like this again after 2 seconds it appears like this appears like this appears like this and then ultimately okay takes an amplitude okay so something like this and then the time mark so we have seen that the first 4 or 5 contractions have increased in height so this is called as staircase phenomenon okay. that is i will tell you again apply stimulus on the apply stimulus on the heart through shielded electrodes okay here yeah. okay apply stimulus then this again at 2 seconds this 2 seconds this 2 seconds this 2 seconds this and 
ultimately it goes okay these are same but here we see that gradually it has increased okay then there is a time mark. so this is called as staircase we know that staircase looks like this okay the person goes up a staircase like this so this is like a staircase only okay so a staircase phenomenon okay so we have discussed about the procedures okay now let's discuss about the results in the first curve we have seen that uh, this one that uh, for the results uh, after putting the first stainless ligature okay the heart rate has started after some time but the heart rate was decreased and now after putting the second stainless ligature the heart rate has taken more time to come and then the heart rate has decreased 